if you have an image, whether it's an animal or a actual human being figure, you can actually take it and make it so that it becomes a little stand-up figure, like our little donkey here. So here's my picture of the donkey that I have just gotten out of a coloring book. And I wanted to make him a little bit smaller, so I reduced him. As you can see, I have my little donkey here. What I need to do is to determine where the fold line is going to be along him. So I'm going to take this as part that I want to fold back underneath. And I'm going to take some white out because that's going to need to be a straight line, not curved. So here's one that's been whited out. Now I need to make my pattern so that he will actually stand up. So using my ruler, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw just a light dotted line where I want him to fold along the top. Now I need to make the outside part where I'm going to cut along to make the stand for him. So I need to draw this part and the part around here. And you might have to play with this a little bit till you get the right measurements. You do want to determine which part you want to actually stick out. If you can see on here, the head here sticks out. So I want this head to be um, away from the line that I'm going to draw here. And then I will draw the top and the bottom lines. Now I need to have it fold under here. And then I also need a fold on the top part. So I'm going to go at the bottom of his feet here and make a dotted line. That means that we're going to fold there. And then the same distance up, I'm going to put another dotted line here, which we will fold along. So when that's all complete, you're going to have something that looks like this. We're going to run that off onto gray construction paper and cut it out. When you cut it out, you're going to cut along the head here down to that fold line. Then the children will fold along those dotted lines, the top one and the two bottom ones. You can either use white glue or if you want to use a glue stick on this, that will also work. And they'll glue the bottom. And then if you add a little bit of fabric here, you've got your little donkey. And whichever story you're doing that will talk about a donkey. Um, you can do any animal, like I said, or um, an actual person and just figuring out which parts you want to stick up and the rest to fold down and they will actually stand on the table.